Well, what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can already see in the title, we're doing some reviewing today, which is perfect because my crusty dusty over there was acting kind of funny with me the other day and overheated and I'm not really sure what's happening with that, but luckily Vibor sent me this nice eight in one heat press situation here okay so that's what we're going to be talking about today i may do a press or two on here just to give it a you know test it out see how it works we're going to go through this together because i have not done anything i haven't hooked up anything only thing i did was plug it up we're going to be doing this together all right so right here is the heat press this you know we use this for t-shirts pillowcases hoodies jackets you know the norm but one thing about this, it rotates 360 degrees. Um, I can't keep going because of the cord, but you get my drift. 360 degrees, completely out of your way, and right back around. That's nice. The only thing I think will be an issue will be space, okay? Most of us have our tables up against the wall and our heat press, you know, up against the, the, the wall, but still you have at least, you know, that much, but you still can get that completely out of the way. Okay, so which is, that's, that's okay. Um, if you have the space, you know, it would be nice to turn it that way and let it heat up that way so that the heat isn't near you as it's getting heated up. But it's still, I mean, either way, it's fine. But yeah, that's pretty cool. It moves pretty smoothly as well. Um, I'm not mad at it. I like the I like the blue on here too. That's nice. And the two handles um, as well. Okay, and then here we have a cup press, mug press. This is what it looks like right here. Okay, which is pretty nice. It seems pretty sturdy. Uh oh, it seems pretty sturdy. Okay, um, and this guy comes with four different attachments. The mug press. The mug press comes with four different attachments. Okay, and on each of the each of the uh, attachments, it has the size, um, and we will call. Guess they, they call these the heaters. I think that's what they call them. Call those the heaters. Yeah, mug heater. Okay. So, this right here is the 12 ounce mug heater. And this is the one, um, the one that's shaped kind of like a cone. Right here, the 12 ounce mug heater. And then we have, this is the, this is a, this is made for the aluminum uh, what are they call them? Aluminum cans or aluminum bottles. So this is for the aluminum bottles, and I think you can also use this for um, tumblers as well. It doesn't say the size. Uh, 150 by 210. I'm not really sure what that means. It doesn't have like an ounce or anything on it, but I think this is you can use this for your tumblers as well. Okay. And then this is for the nine ounce cups. And then the one in here should be for the 12 ounce or is it 11? Which ones did we say already? No, that's the 12. So this is an 11 ounce. This is the 11 ounce mug heater that's already in here um, and ready to go. Okay. So today, um, I don't have any more mugs, so we won't be testing out the mug press, but it's, I'm just going to explain how you're supposed to use it. Okay, so each of these attachments have a power cord here, and all you would do is attach it right here to the front, to the front of the power box. You would attach it right to the front of the power box and screw it in. And, well, you know, once you 
uh, attach it here to your mug press, and then you will screw it in there, okay? So that's how you would use your mug press. And of course, um, if you haven't used one before, um, you can use it for sublimation and you can also use it for heat transfer um, vinyl. Okay, most people don't do use heat transfer vinyl, usually use permanent vinyl, but you can also use it for heat transfer vinyl as well. Um, you would do it the same way as you would um, cutting, cutting it for a t-shirt or any other garment. You would just put it on your cup, place it in here, and then press it. Simple dimple, okay? And then, um, of course, and then you can use it for your sublimation, and that's the same way. You print your um, image, reverse, um, on your sublimation paper with your sublimation printer and you would tape it to your mug and place it in here and then press it okay so that's how this guy works also the hat press attachments these that's what these two guys are okay so all you will be doing would you would have to remove your top and bottom platen right here these two pieces this and this remove both of these parts and then you will simply attach this to the top platen, and then you attach this to the bottom platen, just like that. And then you would have your cord here, your power cord, and you would attach this to the power box, and then you would press it, okay? Press your hat, just like that, all right? So we were not pressing any hats today. We're just gonna use the heat press today. All right, and then we have a plate, a plate attachment. Now, it's not really an attachment, it's just the phone. So basically what you would do, what you would do is, you would place your, this is for a nine, I think it's the two different sizes is a nine, what is it? You'll notice an eight inch and a 10 inch, the eight inch and a 10 inch set, okay, for your plate mold. So basically what you would do uh, for your eight inch, you would print out your um, your image with your sublimation. Um, you would do the same thing you would do for a mug. Print out your image and then you would place your plate, place your image down on your plate where you want it to be and then you would place this on top of it and then flip it over, okay? So this is basically gonna hold your image. I wish, I, do I have? I don't. So let me explain that again. I wish I would have brought a plate up here to show you. Uh, okay, so here's a quick demonstration. I know I probably should have brought a plate, but okay. So here's my um, <laughs> my Wacom, my Wacom tablet. All right, so imagine this is your, your plate. You would put your image on your plate where you want it at, okay? Put this right on top. Of course, you would tape, you know, tape your image down. Place that right on top of it, and then you want to turn this over onto your platen, and then you would press, okay? Press that down on there just like that. And you would flip that back over, take that off, take that off, and your image will be here. All right? And then that's for your 8-inch. And then if you wanted it to be, or a ten, if it was a 10-inch plate, you would just add this little extra piece on here to make that 10 inches and then do the same thing. All right? So let's get into it. Let's get into actually turning this boy on and getting it going. So I have it plugged up. So when you first get it, it's going to come, this is going to come detached in its own separate, and then your power cord, power cord is going to come in its own separate um, bag as well. And what you want to do is you just plug that in to the back, and right here you have two hooks, and right here you have two holes for the hooks, and you're just going to slide it right on there just like that. All right? So now that we have that. And like I said, each of the attachments comes with a power cord. So what I'm gonna do before I turn that on is, make sure that's not a cap, okay. 
I'm going to go ahead and align these holes and go ahead and push that in. And then we have a little twisty, I mean a little um, washer that you're going to go ahead and screw to make sure that's on there nice and snug. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and turn her on just like that. All right, as you can see, the power is on and everything is plugged up. On this side, we have a reset button right here. I guess that's for, to reset your settings. And it looks like it's already, um, the temperature is already rising. Don't know why. All right, so it basically says, here's my instructions right here. And I'm just going to go through that. All right, how to set the temperature in time. Okay, so to set the temperature in time, it says press once to set the temperature. Test. So what we're going to do is going to press that little <clears throat> that little gear right there, which is right here. So it says press that once, and then we do we push up or down on what we want to set it at. And normally I keep mine at 330 degrees, and that normally works for. Um, Pretty much anything I press, unless it's uh, puffers or something like that. So, all right, that's at 3.30. I set that at 3.30. And then let's go ahead and set our, how do we do our, our seconds? Okay, so press again to exit. Automatically exit without operating. Operation within five seconds. How to set the temperature time to increase or decrease. Set time. All right, so the time we're going to, uh oh, wait. So, all right, we just press that twice. And then I'm going to go down. I keep mine normally at about 15 seconds. Okay. So, let's see if that stays. Okay. All right, so now it's working up to its temperature. And we have our time set for 15 seconds. And then it says how to convert the temperature unit between Celsius and Fahrenheit. So basically you would press the plus and the minus at the same time. Okay, so you see that it turned into Celsius and then back to Fahrenheit. All right, so we're going to keep our eyes at Fahrenheit. I do not know how to read Celsius. All right, so this basically shows you, you know, how to use your machine and all of the things that you're capable, the machine is capable of printing right there. Okay. Okay. So for our um, testing of the t uh, press, I'm going to use my son's t-shirt and we're going to press this cute little teddy bear on him just like that. All right. Okay, so you hear the alarm. It's letting us know that the press is ready to go. Okay? So I want to do... Now, what did it say about the alarm? Okay. I don't know. I just, I pressed mode. I'm not sure if that, <laughs> it just stopped. Okay. So let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and press this t-shirt just how we would any other t-shirt. So I'm going to go ahead and swing that away. Since we have the space, we can swing it all the way around out completely out of the way. And we have our t-shirt right here. And I kind of already see where the center is, so I don't need to press the center. We're going to go ahead and swirl that around. All right, so what I didn't discuss is the pressure. So let me see what the pressure is, which is pretty, it feels okay. 
It feels that it's, it's a slightly firm, not too firm, which is fine. Okay, but how you would adjust the pressure is right here. There's a knob right here on the top, and it um, it'll tell you up or down um, to adjust. So, like I said, the pressure was already okay, so I'm going to turn that back and leave that there. But this is how you would adjust your pressure. Um, it doesn't have anything digital on it to let you know whether or not um, it's firm or it's um, how firm the pressure is. But you can kind of test that yourself by just pressing your garment down. You can feel how much pressure you need or um, how less. So there we go. And then we're going to go ahead. I don't need any. Uh, this right here is direct to vinyl, Caesars direct to vinyl, uh, which is one of my faves now. And I'm just going to go ahead and place him right in the center. Just like that. And take my Teflon sheet and put that right on top of there and I think I'm going to actually put a little bit more pressure so down is this way so let's go ahead and turn that a little bit and then go ahead and press and then this I um, also noticed that you have to start So you have to press the little guy on there to get it to start. So it's not an automatic start. Okay. All right. And then you press the guy again. All right, so we're gonna move that over out the way. Okay. That looks good. Let me give him one extra press. Okay, so let's give this a one more press with our parchment paper to knock that shine off. And just for a couple seconds, not too long. Just like that. Swivel out the way. There we go. All right. Let me knock the bottom of that out. Get that crease, those creases out of there. All right. So, this is our shirt. Isn't that cute? Okay, so this is our shirt. Isn't that cute? Nice little shirt. So that did good. I'm not. I'm not mad at this guy. I'm not mad at it at all. So yeah. So that did good, guys. I am um, happy with that. This is the shirt for my baby. This is cute. This is really cute. All right. So yeah. So again, this is a V4. 8-in-1 heat press system, okay? Like I said before, it came with our mug press with four different attachments for the mug press. And then we have our shirt press right here, which swivels around, giving you complete access to your bottom platen. And swivels back around with ease, no problems. I, I mean, this is, like I said before, this is right on time for me. Okay? Right on time for me. I love it. Um, let's go ahead and turn this off because I am done. We're going to go ahead and turn her off. Just like that. 
okay? So like I said before, this has four different um, attachments. We have our plate molds, and then we also have our heat press um, attachments right here, okay? So if you're interested in this lovely system, um, <laughs> I hope I did it justice by explaining it well to you guys, but... If you're interested in this, especially if you're a, you're just starting your business, this is a perfect, 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 perfect solution for someone who's just getting started. Very, this is good because you don't have to worry about um, buying a separate mug press. You don't have to worry about buying a separate hat press. Um, I think that it's great. For you, for someone who's starting out, this is a great solution, okay? I have a link down below. Click on that link. It'll lead you right to where you need to go, okay? And I think right now, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the last time I checked, it was around $260, which is phenomenal for an 8-in-1 heat press system, okay? So... Go check that out, guys. Go check that out. I'm impressed. I'm happy about it. And again, it came for me right on time because Dusty Busty over there is acting up. So, yeah. Thank you so much, B-Boy, for sending me this heat press. And I love it. Thank you so much. And have a good one. Peace out.